Thank you, members. Good morning. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I motion to bring up our previously adopted resolution, HR uh, 1481. I don't think I actually need to do that, but um, uh, today we're honoring the Islamic Society of Greater Houston. Uh, on the dais with me uh, this morning, we have some very good friends of our community and some great community leaders of the Islamic Society of Greater Houston. Uh, we have the president, uh, Sohil Zayed. Uh, we have the Vice President, Aman Kabar, uh, Kabir. Uh, we have the General Secretary, uh, Badar Alam. Make sure you guys wave. Uh, and uh, the Director, uh, Faizan uh, Afik. And uh, of course, uh, a member and a friend, uh, <laughs> Zaim uh, Gowari. And I, I'm going to have to apologize again for butchering their names. Um, the uh, Islamic Society of Greater Houston opened their doors to the community after the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey with food, shelter, and support for all those who are affected, uh, no matter what their background. Uh, they served our community, and their continued efforts in donating uh, supplies and fundraising has been instrumental in helping our community and our fellow Texans get back on their feet. I'd also like to recognize uh, Engage, a, a, a Muslim American advocacy group that represents over 500,000 Muslims uh, in the state of Texas alone. And I think we have our friends with us on the south part of the gallery. If you're here, could you just stand? Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Engage focuses on voter education and the Emerging Leader Program. It is through their help and support that we're able to recognize the Islamic Society of Greater Houston and the efforts of our Muslim neighborhoods who contribute so much to our great state and the great city of Houston. If members, let's welcome our guests and thank you so much.